Lego Monkey Kid's Maze Dragon car has a hard time competing against the likes of City of Lanterns, Nezus, Fire Ring or Changi Mooncake Factory in my opinion, but stands out in a way that none of the others did, it has elements in a brand new Lego color. But first things first, MK's means of transportation on this set is an oversized skate of some sort, two connection points for posing the minifigure on top and a brilliant use of one of those cloud elements as a smoke trail back here. The enemy's bike looks seriously cool though with the purple lightsaber bars serving as support for the front wheel and the exhaust pipes are clearly oversized but they somehow kinda fit the model really well with the extra bonus of the new flame element coming out of them. The red rims for the tires feel somewhat uncommon and something I only remember seeing in classic space sets. Maze Dragon Car is obviously the highlight of the set, I feel this character always has the coolest vehicles and even though this one isn't as good as our White Dragon Horse Jet from the previous Monkey Kid wave of products, it still is very impressive and features some interesting builds. Being a dragon car, I like how the scales effect was achieved with the use of these elements. I dislike however the use of the stickers in here and in the cockpit area. Inside the cockpit, the seat looks really cool, making good use of a new 1x1 plate with two bars and I love that to drive this vehicle you actually use a gaming controller. To keep the dragon feel, some claws were added that wrap around the front wheels and here we can see the new color, neon yellow, being used, more on that later on. The final detail is the dragon's head, nicely shaped with the scales effect on the back once again and this whole section actually acts as the trigger for the shooter. It's actually really nice integrated so that you can shoot while driving with only one hand. For the minifigures we have a highly detailed monkey kid, complete with magical stuff, compass and map clearly looking for these fury ring objects. There's two of these evil monkeys, Rumble and Savage, each of them carrying their weapon of choice and finally Mei. Her prints look absolutely beautiful and the torso color as you've probably noticed is also in the new color, neon yellow which looks amazing. There's three other elements in neon yellow, two wedge plates and two of these Z plates as I call them. Here are the elements next to yellow and lime green so you can clearly tell how different it looks. I feel this will be a far more useful color than Coral is for instance and soon after this set was revealed, as I predicted, a couple of city sets showed up making use of the new color in lots of different elements. I was never too much into city but I might get a few of those just for the neon yellow elements. As for this set, that about sums up what got me most excited about it honestly. I can't stop comparing this to the White Dragon Horse Jet from the previous wave which was overall a way better set in terms of building experience, design and techniques. It's not that this is a bad LEGO set, I just keep comparing it to others and it always loses somehow. But just my opinion though, would love to hear yours in the comment section and subscribe so you don't miss the next video.